Dear friends, this past years have presented us with many complex food security challenges. We have had three years of a pandemic. On the top of the economic downturns, conflicts, and war, the climate crisis interrupted international supply chains, increased inequalities, and rising food prices, among others. All confirming how interconnected our economies and lives are. Rising food prices affect all of us, but the impact are felt the most by the vulnerable and by the countries already experiencing a food crisis. Today, 3.1 billion people around the world still cannot afford a health diet. Hunger continues to rise, and it's affected 828 million people in 2021, an increase of about 46 million people since 2020, and 150 million since 2019. Farming and malnutrition are leading to loss of lives and put at risk of the health future for our children. Catastrophic short-term events are developing into protracted crises with overlapping challenges, which over the time are leaving an increasing number of the people behind. Now, more than ever, we need to harness the power of the solidarity and the collective action. Our agro-food systems hold a great potential for a more equitable and prosperous future. As we are interlinked to the many areas of our lives and the economy, from agriculture to the natural resources, to energy, to health, and many more, agriculture is among the most cost-effective humanitarian interventions. To honor our pledge to leave no one behind, it is critical that we transform our agro-food system to be more efficient, more inclusive, more resilient, and more sustainable for better production, better nutrition, a better environment, a better life for all. We need to empower the most vulnerable, including small-scale producers, by investing in global agro-food systems. This means improved access to the training, incentives, science, data, technology, and innovation so that the smallholders can be at the center of this transformation. We need to descend rural employment and the services and to end the child labor. While the fostering gender equality and supporting rural and indigenous peoples who are the custodians of much of the Earth's biodiversity. At the same time, governments needed to provide timely and well-targeted social protection programs that protect the most fragile. We need to support the countries at the risk of the hunger, malnutrition, and the farming, helping them to transform agri-food systems, funding humanitarian appeals, and boosting resilience. Greater priority must be given to the increase in local nutritious food production and preserving natural resources. The FAO Strategy Framework 2022-31 prioritized this transformation across all our work in support of the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. The 2021 United Nations Food System Summit and other multilateral initiatives have initiated the dialogues and the pathways, putting agro-food system transformation higher on the global agenda. If we continue to support the implementation of the national pathways for transformation by hosting the UN Food System Summit, follow up a coordination hub on behalf of the UN system. Dear friends, let this World Food Day be a reminder of the need to accelerate this effort and strive for a future where no one is left behind, and where everyone have access to the health and the affordable food. Let us work better together to build a new era of the home for everyone, everywhere. I thank you.